What's up, Brody Foodie fam, guys? Whoa. Welcome back to the channel. The chewing that you're hearing right now is, you guessed it, this one. So you're going to get a little bit of ASMR, a little puppy ASMR while we're eating, okay? Um, I was just in the mood for something different. I uh, looked online. There's a local place here called uh, Curry Walla. You guys know what curry is. And uh, Walla is... Uh, I guess it means vendor or seller. So he's a curry seller. So shout out to the family who owns the spot. So this right here, right? This right here, by the way, this meal, I actually, I rarely ever order the uh, uh, through the apps, right? Because um, although the apps are getting better on the restaurant side, but for the consumer side, um, I went on Uber Eats and this one actually had a deal um, where it was 40% off. So I was like, what? Activate. So it kind of worked out. I was like, I want something different. I didn't want burgers. I didn't want tacos. I didn't want pizza. So I'm glad that this worked out. So this right here, I don't know if you guys can see. So this is a chicken sag. So it's basically a classic Indian dish. It's made with chicken, obviously, spinach, spices, and sour cream with that good, good. And then it comes with uh, basmati rice. And then I got a side of garlic naan bread that's smelling so fragrant. So before we even do anything, no, there's garlic in that. No. Answer still no. No, dog. I gave him extra treats so he wouldn't bug us. All right, let's 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 dive in here, fam. I'm gonna have to eat up here for you guys. Oh, that sauce just is so uh, aromic, aromatic, aromatic, funkadelic, funkadelic. Mmm. That's like without the chicken too. Indian food is one of those things. Every time I eat it, I go, why don't I eat this more? Mm. Like a little taco. Extra sauce. Also, I don't know anybody else that uses the, and I wanted to, sorry, the other, the other goal for this video too was uh, to eat at a local restaurant. Mm. But hear me out, fam. Who out there uses Uber Eats? Do they have a rewards program? Because... I mean, if Uber is going to keep having these deals. Mm. Oh, my God. You have to mix it in with the rice. I mean, it's just only. That sauce is just insane in the membrane. That's a meal of its own. So I was on, actually, believe it or not, I checked out, um, and I'm sure they go back and forth, you know, but I went on, a, a, not DoorDash, I don't have DoorDash downloaded, um, what's the other one, Grubhub, but Grubhub, excuse me, Grubhub was more expensive than Uber Eats on like the same items. I was like, what the heck is Grubhub doing over there? Mm. And by the way, I was one of Grubhub's first customers.
they had such a market lead. I don't know how they lost it. I mean, I'm sure they're probably the most downloaded. I don't know who the most downloaded is. You guys can Google it for me if you don't mind. But Grubhub was the only one that was really doing like deliveries from like restaurants and stuff. And I remember because I used to order from this place called Vivaldi's in Cranston. Me and my ex-girlfriend, man, we would order Vivaldi's two, maybe three times a week. And here's why. One, we were broke and we used to, uh, they used to have these, uh, these discounts, um, and pizza, we would met, we would last, it would last for like two or three meals sometimes for us. Cause we would get other things and we both worked full time and she went to school full time and I had a part-time job. So by the time you're home, you're like, babe, you want to just Netflix and, uh, and, and Grubhub? Let's do this. Right. So. And the, re the reason I remember also Grubhub is back in the day when you used to order, obviously they didn't have apps, right? This is pre-iPhone. It was a website. Um, you would order and at the end of it, there used to be like a little, uh, like a little game where they would have like, choose one, two, three, four, and you would click on one. I'm sure it was already predetermined, but at that time it was like kind of fun but you would always win something. You would win a 10% off your next order. You would win a free soda. You would win a free uh, um, a free entree, things like that. So like every time we did it, we would win something and we would save money for the next one. We were hooked. But now with DoorDash and all the little regional ones like Postmates and everything, Remember Yelp had one, Eat24. I didn't grab up about them. Um, competition is stiff out there. This is gonna give me a nap, I already know. But, this, um, the reason I'm ordering Uber Eats, as you guys can imagine, and I'm going to retell the story just in case for the folks that didn't watch. Uh, actually, I didn't even post a, a video yesterday. I was so out of it yesterday, guys. It was one of those days where Brisket and I laid down for a nap midday, jacked us up the rest of the day. We laid down for like a, an hour and a half nap. We both got up like groggy, like we were drunk. Excuse me, sir. You can't have garlic, baby. I know. You got all the treats in the land. Did you, whoa, did you eat them all already? Not, not my problem. Not my problem. So, no. I know. It's very frustrating. Um, we, I, we woke up and I just, I, I felt horrible. I had acid reflux too, which woke me up in the middle of the night. I'm over here, I'm taking Tums and I'm trying to like eat ice cream to like get the burn down. Um, it was just bad, yesterday was just bad. And that's without filming and, and posting for you guys. I was supposed to order this yesterday. Oh, excuse me, but here we are. Oh, story time. So, the Subi, the Subaru Chronicles. I'm telling you, I'm being tested. I did a, uh, I don't know if I uploaded the short on YouTube but it's definitely on my TikTok and Instagram. And it's just a sound of me like with the phone ringing and it's basically saying calling God to make sure I'm not added to his strongest soldiers <laughs> for 2023. Because this year has been an absolute just roller coaster, guys, roller coaster. And, um, 
you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's just been crazy lately. So, um, when it comes to the car though, um, so the repairs are going to be like over, like he said, either a little bit under or a little bit over a thousand dollars. So here's the thing. It's not enough for it to be totaled. So he said, we were going back and forth and he was like, where's, where's your deductible? He's like, most people have 500. I was like, if that's what most people have, I'm pretty sure that's what I have, right? And uh, he's like, some people have a thousand. I was like, I know myself, I wouldn't have gone that high. Um, so he's like, you're still gonna have to pay out of pocket and your rates are gonna go up because when it comes to hit and run, they basically don't believe you. And I was like, what the, it's like, what the F? All I'm doing here is existing. And I basically told, I told some friends that we, when we, we typically do like uh, gift exchanges, I was like, listen, it's a Charlie Brown Christmas this year. The, you know, I try, I'm one of those people that tries to put away like a hundred bucks a month so that I have a little, like around a thousand dollars by Christmas time to buy gifts for people, right? Um, or take them out to dinner. Like I like to spend time with people. And I was like, oh, I don't know about this year, man. <laughs> They're like, what happened? I was like, I had the, I had the Santa Claus, uh, Santa Claus fund went to the Subi fund. Um, so it's not enough for it to be totaled and it's not enough to file a claim. My life is the epitome of gray area, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, someone left a comment the other day too. These comments always like, they're always, I know that they're meant to be like a, uh, like a, what you call it? A, um, what the heck am I trying to say? They're meant to be a compliment, I guess. Oh, big bite. They're meant to be a compliment, but it's always like, dang it, I know. Basically, the comment says something like, you're amazing. You should definitely have more subs and views. <laughs> I was like, I know. But in my mind, that's not how I think, though. Sometimes I step into that world where I think like that, but deep down inside, I don't think like that. I love our, our slow, organic growth. I'm getting to know you guys. You're getting to know me. Can I help you? I'm actually getting full here. Mm. I should have told them. This is going to sound funny. I should have told them more sauce, less chicken. Mmm. Turn this up. This chicken saga didn't, didn't stand a chance. Mmm. By the way, we ordered two meals because we had that great discount. So tomorrow's video is going to be a different Indian dish. Mm. So, <clears throat> sorry for smacking so much in this video. Fix your ear. We're on camera right now. So that's my saga right now. It's just crazy how something of no fault of your own can cost you a thousand bucks. And it's not like I was driving and I forgot to put oil in or I forgot to fill up a tire and it blew and I 
crashed into a tree a little bit. It's like, I, this is not my fault. And it's still messing with me a little bit too. I'm gonna be very candid. I don't know why, I have to snap out of this. I gotta snap out of it. Whatever it is that I'm in, I need to snap out of it. Also, how do you guys like the lighting? I found my bigger, oh, you can see it. I found my bigger ring light that holds the phone in the middle of the ring light. Oh man. Yoy soy getting full -o. You can't have any of this, baby. Too many spices. I know. Hmm. They give you a lot of rice, too. So that's the saga right now, fam. Uh, new fender, new bumper, two new bumpers. And some other stuff, but. And this is how my optimist mind always works, right? This glass half full thing. Could have been worse. I don't know why I think like that, but I, it's the best way to think, honestly. I can't be going around being negative. I'll tell you what, someone's loved that I've been at home 24 seven. He's like, Dad, you never have to leave, see? Woo. All right, fam. We're going to call it. Call it. All right, it's about 3.30ish right now, 3.45, I think. Um, hope to get this video up by like 4, 4.35 maybe for you guys. And I actually filmed it today. Let's say Saturday, right? Are you done being a uh, shiitake mushroom? Hmm? And it's been getting cold, guys. It was, we, I keep having to uh, to bundle him up um, because I like that he goes outside still. Like he has, he has pads in here to go to the bathroom in here, but um, we still go outside and it's like in the thirties. Today, uh, the weather said that there might be a chance of flurries. Um, oh, excuse me. There might be, how can you never look at the camera when we do this? People wanna see your beautiful face, baby. People wanna see your beautiful face, yeah. You shy? Okay. Um, and there might be a chance of flurries uh, Sunday too, so, all right. There you go, you got it. So we'll see. <laughs> Also, I think I like filming down here. What the heck is this? Why is it making that noise? All right, I'll keep them busy for like 30 seconds. Um, I do want to thank you guys um, for the kind words. The, I know that in today's society, almost it, it sounds disingenuous to say uh, anything sweet or anything like, oh, I'm so sorry that happened. But to the person that it's happening to, uh, it means a lot. Um, so uh, the messages that I've received, uh, either on comments or the post of the picture of the car or on Instagram, um, you know, thank you guys. Thank you for being there. Uh, I was just getting into my groove. You know, we were going, what, like a month straight of posting every day and then we stumbled again. It's unfortunate. So uh, I'm feeling a little bit more like myself today. I made a flyer, I posted on Instagram and Facebook. So that's always a great indication. When you don't see me posting on Instagram or Facebook, that means something's up. Um, haven't really talked to anybody. Uh, 
I've only spoken to like one or two people. And not not because I'm well, it might be a, a t it might be a tad of disassociation, but I think really what it is is uh, me not wanting to bring other people down with my energy. So, oh, 30 seconds on the dot. He just, he's attacking it. <laughs> you get it, baby. Why is it even in the house? Yeah, why is it even in the house? Come on. Why is it even in here? What is this screen thing? We're being attacked. We're being... All right, fam. Oh, I didn't know this video was going to be 20 minutes. Um, I love you. Uh, thank you for... Um, we just had a new new member join YouTube memberships. Thank you so much. Uh, I have a goal uh, that I'd like to hit uh, for my birthday. So you guys are going to be tired of hearing me talk about YouTube memberships. Um, but it helps so much. It helps so much, especially the days where... I need a breather or something's happening, you know, to, to have that con that, that constant um, uh, support system of you of YouTube memberships means the world. And I know that for some, you know, two ninety nine is not a lot, but to me it means the world because you're actually you're doing it. So and I know some of you have done the other tiers. Thank you so much. The I think we have a five ninety nine and a nine ninety nine. Um so just thank you. I feel blessed, I feel loved. Um, I'm slowly starting to feel like Lupe again, um, and, and, you know, we'll keep trucking along. All right, guys. I love you. I got to shave. Look at this. Look at this. What the heck is going on here? Look at this. I actually have some hair going on. Hey, <laughs> what are you doing? Look at this. I have hair growing on into my, maybe I should grow out like one of those like Western Ooh, a Western stash. You know what I've always wanted to do was uh, the handlebars. You know, you shave this and it's just this that goes through. I don't know why. But we're coming up to my yearly shave. I try to shave this like after New Year's, just baby face it out or trim it down as, you know, as low as I can go. And then I, that's, that's my, uh, that's my winter cleaning on the beard. I always go back and forth between wanting to connect this to up here, but I always feel it looks weird up here. I don't know what the heck. Why are we talking about this right now? This is a this is an eating show. I love you guys. Again, thank you for YouTube memberships. Um, and if you're doing shopping um, this Christmas, um, do me a favor. Just go down into one of our videos and just click one of our affiliate links. You don't have to buy that particular thing, but... Uh, Amazon will reward us by sending traffic to YouTube. So if you buy a bunch of stuff, um, they'll give us like a tiny, It's and I'm telling you, it's tiny. But uh, sometimes it adds up. It adds up. Um, and we're able to, you know, buy brisket some toys. And and uh, I'm looking to get brisket uh, one of these, uh, what are they called? It's like a sash kind of, but I can put them in it so I can just carry them. You know, like it's almost like he's a baby um, because I've been doing a lot of reading on and I've been going through all our camping gear because uh, I think when, when the weather breaks, uh, I think it's time to bust open that tent finally. Uh, it took us a year to do it, but as you guys know, I always say what I'm going to do. Sometimes it just might take me a while, so... Uh, other than that, guys, in, in the spirit of not letting this video get too long, I love you. Uh, I'm going to go cry and watch the Megan and Harry st uh, documentary and uh, just bask in people and actually <laughs> people that are actually in love. Uh, I have to. Here's the thing, right? I almost have to find someone like me. You know, I've, I've spoken to some really amazing, uh, uh, I almost said people, uh, women since I've been back. Um, but none of them have that uh, adventurous spontaneity that I need, that I require, um, and that I require from a partner too. 
I want to be able, yeah, let's, you know, let's, let's have a place where we can store our stuff and have an address and stuff. But, you know, let's plan a weekend getaway every other weekend. And it doesn't have to be to an expensive, like we can do every once in a while, right? Because there is like 1% of me that is bougie. And once or twice a year, I do do something a little bougie. Um, <clears throat> you know, treat yourself. But for the most time, I'm like super thrifty. Um, you know, camping, national parks, things like that, right? Like, those are the type of things that I'm talking about. Um, and it's tough. And it's tough wanting to find someone to hopefully, you know, uh, get a van together, get an RV, get a trailer. Uh, you know, someone who... Uh, wouldn't mind building a, a tiny cabin somewhere and grow some chickens, uh, but also still be near a city, but also want to jump into the trailer and go, you know, go to the Southwest and then come back. So it's tough. It's tough. You know, they also have to have the type of job that they can do that. So, you know, are they doing social media? Um, are they a, photo a traveling photographer? Or do they make jewelry, something online? I don't know. It's it just seems like the prospects go down like this, and then and I'm at a point in my life. I'm I, I you know I'm so old now that I don't want to. <clears throat> it's not about not compromising. It's about not settling either. You know. Um. It's just it's tough. I might you know what. I'm gonna see if there's any like traveling dating sites. And here's the thing too, I'm not I'm not even really ready to date anyways. I guess what I'm trying to say is maybe I find it hold on. Let me cuz this went down the dating route of a conversation. And that's not where I, where my mindset is. Sorry, that was a slip up. I guess what I need to do is I need to find a group of people that want to do that type of stuff, you know, build kind of a nomadic tribe. I wonder if they have websites like that where it's like, hey, you live in Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Connecticut. Let's the three of us go up to Vermont, you know, and things like that. Hmm. And maybe if there isn't, maybe it's time to create one. I don't know. I am now blabbering. This is how my mind works 24-7 if you guys ever want to know what the heck is going on up here. So... Um, I'm gonna let you guys go because this video is almost 30 minutes. It was only supposed to be 10. Uh, I don't, oh, he's right here. Okay. He just gave me the eyes. I know what that means. He's like that. I'm, I'm ready for, uh, for a couch and Netflix. Um, I just saw an amazing special on John Lewis. Um, the um the politician from the south that was an amazing amazing segment um all right guys i'm gonna let you go before uh i don't know if i've ever done a video that's been like an hour but i feel like i can just blabber out and it can i can make it an hour if you guys ever want to um but i'll let you go be well eat well and take care of each other